Hello, folks, and welcome to GED Microlearning, where we help you pass your GED math. So today I'm starting this new section called GED Hacks to help you go deep into a specific topic. And today we're going to talk about dividing fractions. This is what I want you to remember by the end of the video, the keep, change, flip method for dividing fractions. All right, so let's say that they give you this problem where they're asking you to divide one fraction by another fraction. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take that uh, problem on the left and you want to rewrite the problem like this. Okay, so you would have one third divided by four fifths. And now you're going to apply the keep, change, flip formula. Okay, so you're going to keep that first number, one third. You're going to change the symbol, okay, so we're going to go from division to multiplication, and you're going to flip this last fraction from 4 fifths to 5 over 4. So why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this because in math there is a rule or a concept that says that when you're dividing a fraction by a fraction, you're actually multiplying by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal is basically a fancy term for a fraction that you flipped on itself. Okay, so the reciprocal of 4 over 5 would be 5 over 4. Okay, so that same fraction flipped over. All right, so now you can go ahead and solve the problem. And remember that when you have two fractions like that that are multiplying, all you have to do is multiply across. So if we look at the top at the numerator, we would multiply 1 times 5, that gives you 5, and the bottom 3 times 4, that gives you 12. Okay, so once again, remember, keep, change, flip. All right, we're going to do a second problem together, and then I'm going to let you do uh, five problems by yourself. All right, so let's take the second problem and go ahead and rewrite it. So this is what it should look like. And now, again, remember we're going to keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction. We're going to change the division sign for multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction, okay, so from 14 divided by 51 to 51 divided by 14. And then once again, you have these two fractions that you're multiplying. You're just going to multiply across to solve. And notice you get a huge number. Usually they would ask you to simplify or reduce that fraction. So we'll do that um, in a problem later on. Okay, so now that you understand this concept of cha uh, keep, change, flip, uh, we're going to practice some problems. So first we're going to do these three problems and then we're going to do some word problems. All right, so why don't you go ahead and stop the video and solve these problems. All right, so welcome back. So let's look at the first problem. So what we would do is, again, we would rewrite uh, the, the formula and we would keep the first fraction. Then we would change from division to multiplication and we would flip the three fifths to five over three and then just multiply across. So you should have ended up with 20 over 21. Second problem, you would do this. Okay, same sort of scenario. You end up with 154 over 18. And finally, in the last one, uh, you end up with this. So notice that you have, uh, in the bottom, you have 1 7th. And when you flip that fr fraction over, you end up with 7 over 1 or 7, okay? So when you, when you multiply, uh, you get 21 over 8. All right, great. So now we're going to use what we just learned, and we're going to apply it to two word problems. All right, so in the first problem, they're telling you that this person is organizing. Um, she has a cake, and she wants to divide it among uh, two-thirds of the students in her school. And they're asking how much cake will each student receive. Okay, so the first thing is, that uh, we're going to have to divide that amount of cake by the number of students, right? So we would divide a five eighths, excuse me, five sixths by two thirds. Once again, we're going to do the same exact thing that we did before. So first of all, we're going to rewrite our equation like this. And then we're going to go ahead and do our keep change flip. So we're going to keep the first number. We're going to change from division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip that last fraction from 2 thirds to 3 over 2. 
All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and solve. And it seems like I gave you the answer first, so sorry about that. So you would solve this problem, which is the one that we had before. So five divided by six multiplied by three over two. So you multiply across, in the top you end up with 15, at the bottom with 12. And as I said before, usually they ask you to simplify or reduce the fraction. So here, how do you simplify? So you have 15 divided by 12, and you want to find a number by which uh, these two numbers divide by. Okay, so um, in this case, the number that they both divide by is 3. So we would say 15 is 5 times 3, and 12 is 4 times 3. Okay, so the common number that by which they both divide is 3, so you could go ahead and cancel these this number and just write 5 over 4. So that's a kind of weird number, right, to divide a cake by 5 fourths. Um, really, it, you could change this number to a, a mixed number, so you could change it to 1 over 4, okay, meaning that the person gets one slice and a fourth of a slice of that cake. All right, let's go ahead and do this second problem. So here they're telling us that uh, Liam is making a smoothie, and he has a recipe that he has to divide in half. Okay, so the original recipe is asking for three-fourths of a cup of strawberries. And he wants to find out how many cups of strawberries should he use if he's just doing half of the recipe. All right, so once again, step one, they're telling us we have to divide that amount of strawberries in the original recipe by two. So this is how we would set up our equation, right? Three-fourths of a cup of strawberries divided by two, or two over one. We're gonna go ahead and rewrite our problem like this. And then we're gonna apply, as always, our keep, change, flip formula, okay? So uh, we have that first number that we said we're gonna keep. Then we have the division sign that we're gonna change to a multiplication sign. And then finally, we are going to flip the final formula, okay? So we're going to go from 2 divided by 1 to 1 over 2. And then the final step is to solve. So you would multiply across 3 times 1, and the top is equal to 3, divided by, um, excuse me, and in the bottom you end up with 4 times 2, which is 8, okay? So basically, he needs 3 eighths uh, of a cup of strawberries for half of the recipe. All right, folks, well, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give us a like, share with your friends if you found it useful. And as always, have a great rest of your day. And thanks for watching.